we are going to be doing the offensive guards of the 2018 NFL Draft class. And the draft is only three days away. Hopefully I can finish up these prospects. It is coming really close. And the number one offensive guard, we have Quinton Nelson, 6'5", 329-pound junior from Notre Dame. Um, he has an amazing build and frame. He is just huge for an offensive guard. He's rarely beaten by bull rushers. He's extremely aggressive at the point of attack. He has intimidating power, great hand strength. He moves laterally and in space amazingly. Um, and, he's, and he's a premier double team, double team blocker. Um, he double teams just amazingly. Quentin Nelson, and his negatives are he has tendency to drop his head into contact. Some injury concerns, and he was on the ground a lot against gap shooters. His pro comparison is Larry Allen. And number two, we have Isaiah Wynn, 6'3", 313-pound senior from Georgia. Positives, good movement and knee bend, good initial quickness. He looks to finish. He's effective as a move blocker and a base blocker. He has strong hands. He's extremely aware against twist and quick to respond against them. And he played both offensive guard and offensive tackle. His negatives, he has a high cut frame, he needs better arm extension into his initial punch, he lacks patience, and he chases defenders rather than making them come to him. His pro comparison is Ronald Leary. And number three, we have Will Hernandez, 6'2", 348 pound senior from UTEP. Positives, he has natural movement, very flexible, extremely agile, his feet are nimble and quick, he's a great pull blocker. He has the feet and the force to keep run blocks centered and sustained. He has great balance and upper body strength. His negatives. He has short arms and small hands. Defenders with good arm length will be able to get into his chest. And he initiates contact without gathering his feet under him. His pro comparison is Richie Incognito. And at number 4 we have Braden Smith, 6'6", 303 pound senior from Auburn. Positives. He has good body control, a great frame and build. Great strength, he's a good drive blocker, and he net, and he has enough pure power to slow down bull rushers. His negatives, he plays top heavy at times, he has a slower pace, his eyes need to be quicker, and he allows rushers to get into his frame. His pro comparison is Kevin Zietler. Number 5, we have Martinez Rankin, 6'5", 305, 305 pound senior from Mississippi State. Positives, he can play all 5 positions on the O-line. He accelerates into down blocks, explodes from upper body with punch. He stays square in pass sets without opening early. He takes good angles on second level targets. His negatives, he lacks lateral quickness, unable to sustain his drive blocker, loses leverage battles, and his base narrows as his slide progresses. Pro comparison, Justin Britt. Number 6, we have Wyatt Teller, 6'4", 301 pound senior from Virginia Tech. Positives. Well proportioned muscular frame, sustained as a drive blocker, accurate hand placement, big numbers in the weight room, puts up huge numbers in the weight room. Negatives are he's a short strider, effort level lacking, ineffective as a pull blocker, and he lacks lateral agility. His pro comparison is Christian Westerman. Number seven, we have Brendan Mahone, 6'4", 320 pound senior out of Penn State. Positives, he has good footwork and good body control. He has tight controlled steps to keep balance during contact and good core strength. Negatives, he doesn't finish consistently, will lose some early ground to power and pass protection, and he allows his men to slide out of the block. Pro comparison, Joe Thune. Number 8, we have Skyler Phillips, 6'3", 324 pound senior out of Idaho State. Positives, he has massive arms, he has a compact, powerful frame, he's light on his feet, a very strong punch, good lateral quickness, and he's flexible throughout lower body. Um, his negatives, he has shorter arms, he gets forced into resetting his hands too often during blocks, and his finishing is inconsistent. His pro comparison is Shaq Mason. Number 9, Tyrone Crowder, 6'2", 334 pounds, senior out of Clemson. Positives, great upper body strength, he's a good pull blocker, good awareness and pass protection, little wasted motion with his hands. His negatives, he has stubby legs and arms, too much leaning as run blocker, Longer defenders can reset his hands and dislodge his grip. Pro conversion, Mike Ayupati. Number 10, Larry Allen Jr., 6'3", 290 pound senior out of Harvard. Positives, good lateral quickness, he can block on the second level. He has good snap to step quickness 
and he has the strength to move defenders out of the lanes. Negatives. He doesn't give full effort on every play. He's bad in space, and he struggles to slow down anybody with anybody outside the tackles. Pro comparison, Cody Wishman. And an honorable mention, we have number one, David Bright from Stanford. Number two, Wilson Bell from Auburn. Three, Rod Taylor from Mississippi. Four, KJ Malone from LSU. Five, Sam Jones from Arizona State. Number six, Cody O'Connell from Washington State. Uh, that was the offensive guards for the 2018 draft. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one.